2019 has seen many a YouTuber transform themselves from modest online content creator into major corporate entity and have diversified their income from relying solely on Google's fickle AdSense business to being their own brand off platform and making more M's via their celebrity, their merch, and lucrative endorsement deals. Now we got YouTubers buying up millions of dollars in property all over the globe, some buying up enough cars to fill up a parking lot, others getting themselves iced out with expensive bling and more. By now you've all seen the Forbes top 10 list for highest earners this year, and this included Ryan's toy review, also some newcomers, Anastasia Radzinskaya, also Preston Arsment. Sorry, it's my first day back after not filming for two weeks. I'm definitely butchering some names. Now on this list, I ain't gonna be talking about any kids today. Maybe I'll make some before they're famous on these people later this year. Today's list, it's gonna be a little custom tailored to fit my audience. But don't worry, they are all super, super rich. What's going on guys, it's boy Michael McCredden back at it with the final video for this year. It's a rich life countdown, which we've never done before. Now for those of you who are curious, your boy Michael McCredden, well I've actually pulled in a couple mil over the past four years here on YouTube. But the taxes and the cost of operating the business, well they've eaten up about half of that. And I could have made a whole lot more. To be real with you guys, I didn't even have all my ads turned on. Yikes. Yeah. Don't. So if you were curious, now you know. All right, now let's get into this video. Happy New Year to all of you guys. Now I'm not sure if we're gonna be doing daily videos in January, so just in case, be sure to turn on the post notifications. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram. I'll be at a party by the time you're watching this video. Also follow me on Twitter. I'm giving that a big push in 2020. All right, let's get into this video. Number 10 spot, we got a fan favorite here on this channel with CJ So Cool. CJ So Cool is one of the biggest and best YouTubers paving his own path and doing things his way out in Las Vegas, Nevada. With a phenomenal 7.6 million subs and nearly 2 billion views and another 3.5 million followers on the gram, well, CJ is certainly a star. Now taking a look at his Social Blade account, a bad month for CJ is over 20 million views, while a good month, it's as high as 100 million. Now with CJ making family friendly content, well he could be pulling in anywhere from one to four million dollars a year off of his content alone. Now that right there gives CJ plenty to celebrate, but he made a lot of big moves this year buying his first piece of property, sitting on an acre of land with a jacuzzi, a pool, a tennis court, and more. Now of course CJ has been able to treat himself to a ton of new luxuries over 2019. He was hanging out with Johnny Dang and CJ picked himself up a new grill, also a custom chain he cites as the best thing he's ever bought in his life. Now with four kids under his roof and twins on the way with his girl royalty, well I'm excited to see what the future has in store for our boy CJ. Now this guy, he came from Gary, Indiana, and like no one makes it out of Gary, Indiana, except for the Jackson 5. True story. So that just really goes to show you, he's come a long way. All right, coming in at number two, we got Mr. Beast, who would likely have placed higher if he kept more of that sweet, sweet ad revenue for himself. Although it is nice to see him giving it all away. Where most YouTubers, they max out at 10 or 20 million subscribers, Mr. Beast is blowing through the competition, climbing his way to the top, and giving away a fortune along the way. With 28.3 million subscribers at the time of this recording, and 4.3 billion views, well he was even nice enough to give his brother a jump start and a big push, netting him nearly 2 million subs to start his Mr. Bro channel. Now I plan on making a separate video detailing all the money Mr. Beast has actually given away, but that will likely take me around 24 hours to do. Now in the meantime, we can take a look at his social blade, which has him pulling in a whopping 11 million views a day. That's actually my entire month, but for him, each and every day. In January of 2019, he clocked in 188 million views, and he had his best month in August with nearly 350 million views. Now Jimmy Donaldson, he is getting rich, but so is everyone else around him, and that's while he's on his way to superstardom. I mean, the guy's even giving his tricks back to you guys. In the last year, every video I've uploaded on YouTube has gotten over 10 million views each. And I want to teach you how I did that. Now I'd say it's safe to say that his channel is 
Eagles pulled in over $10 million. Also, the brand deals and his merch, they allow him to keep going and keep growing. The guy's an absolute stud. All right, coming in at the number three spot, we got Shane Dawson. Then with over 20 million YouTube subscribers on his main channel and over 5 billion views plus an additional 11.9 million on Instagram, well, Shane Dawson is one OG YouTuber who has managed to not just stay relevant, but to continually reinvent the game. Now, after posting content for 14 years, it was like 2019 was his breakout year or at least it was financially. Now we also started working with sponsors, including Honey, and he announced that this was like the first time in his career he was actually getting sponsors. Depending on what kind of ad rates he's seeing, he certainly added a couple mils to his net worth this year off of his YouTube channel alone. But the real payday, it came through his team up with Jeffree Star for his conspiracy line. They had products ranging from 18 to $55, and the whole thing, it broke the internet. Yeah, on the live, you're seeing zero people on the site, too. Yeah, so. oh, that's what happened last yeah. time, too, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Everyone's angry. Yeah. <laughs> when is the site coming back up? Shop. Shop fun? Yeah. We're all scheduled at 9.58, guys. There's 23 separate products. Only <laughs> Drama, 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 drama. Don't worry, in the end, Jeffree Star, he said to have made something like 35 million, with 10 million going to Shane. Yeah, he won't be like tagging along on the private jet next year. It looks like he'll be having his own. Also, Jeffree Star will be talking about him again, of course, a little later in this video. Moving on to the number four spot, now we've decided to give Jake and Logan Paul a break this year, so instead, well, we're gonna have to talk about KSI. This guy had a phenomenal year. His main channel it now boasts 20 million subscribers with over 5 billion views, and he regularly pulls in anywhere from 20 to 50 million views a month. But that's just one slice of his YouTube pie with him having multiple channels, a joint channel with his crew, the Sidemen, a number of sponsors, including G Fuel, where, well, he just posts to his 7.7 .7 million Instagram followers photos like this. Now that's not a bad gig allowing him to collect a bag just for posting a picture. But you think the least he could do was, you know, like at least smile. But we all know KSI, he is laughing all the way to the bank, earning a minimum of $900,000 for his most recent bout against Logan Paul. And he likely made a whole lot more. With money like that, it's no wonder he casually bought a gold iPhone 10 while walking around a mall in Dubai, which set him back around 40K. Now this year, he also unveiled his half a million dollar custom made chain, modeled after the Dragon Ball super character, Ferris. Yikes. Now online estimates, they clock in his net worth at $5 million, but I got a feeling it's double that or more. All right, adding some ladies to the mix, we're gonna talk about my sweet friend and a former co-host hero before they were famous. I'm talking about Azzyland at the number five spot. Now she was actually featured as the number 10 most watched YouTuber in YouTube Rewind for 2019. Congrats to her. No little side note, now when Azzy, she was first getting started, I was her manager with a contract. But then Azzy, she fell in love and she moved in with Quebble Cop and I tore up that deal. So live and learn kids, live and learn. Now I'm actually going to her New Year's Eve party tonight. So yeah, maybe you'll see me there mm, on Instagram. Now sitting on 10 million subscribers and pulling in on average 4 million views a day, well, Azzyland has become one of the biggest stars on the platform. Now a bad month for Azzy's channel is 150 million views, while her best ever was 250. Now she's also doing a great job on Instagram with nearly 2 million followers, and the kid has come a long way. She was also able to buy herself a penthouse in the heart of Toronto. God bless her sweet, sweet soul. I mean, if I kept that contract, I could at least have owned like the guest house in her penthouse, or at least I could have moved in rent free. But uh, I'm sure they wouldn't have loved that. Live and learn, kids. All jokes aside, she deserves all of it. The girl is a superstar, she's super sweet, and she's really hardworking, so I'm really proud of her. All right, moving on to the number four spot. God damn it, we're only at number four. I am really, really rusty. All right, this time we're talking about David Dobrik. Now, it was revealed publicly this year that David Dobrik's videos, they've all been claimed, meaning that his 15 million subscriber channel and his 200 to 300 million views a month, well, they've all been going to one very thankful record label. Now that don't mean money ain't coming from somewhere cause the dude be giving out cars like he's the new Oprah. I mean, there was this one, there was this one, there was this one, this one, and this one. My God. I mean, I work with SeatGeek and all I got were some tickets to the Raptors. 
and they weren't even front row. <laughs> now he's also got himself a nice million dollar LA home, which you should not visit. Seriously, he's tired of people knocking on his door, but he also picked up for himself a Tesla and a Ferrari. Now I'd rule more of that clip for you guys, but, well, unlike David, I can't afford the copyright claims. So let's move on. I need another female creator, so let's go with SS Sniper Wolf. She comes in at number three, and she recently picked herself up a new crib out in LA. Now her and Azzy are wearing the same thing in both their house tour videos. Coincidence? I think not. So Sniper Wolf, she is a superstar with 17.6 million subs, and she's got a side channel with another two million. And Sausage, well, he's still sitting on 300K but he does post like once a year, so that's not too bad. Now Sniper Wolf, she pulls in on average about 150 million views a month and has almost 5 billion views. Now she's got another 4.5 billion on Instagram and every YouTube video, it seems to get 1 million views or more. Again, good for her, and if you're curious about how much her house cost, well I read online that it was a cool 2.9 million. I mean, that's pretty dope. Congrats to her, congrats to the sausage. I know they hate me, but hey, what are you gonna do? I'd only got two more spots and I got a ton more YouTubers to feature. So sorry, Ninja, but I'm giving PewDiePie, well, he's just my fave, so I gotta talk about him. My goal, mother My Cruden, AKA Fact God. Now it's been a big year for Pewds, him hitting 100 million subscribers and 24 billion views. And when he made that video on me, well, he was celebrating having hit 15 billion. A lot has changed since mid 2017. Now this year he had been averaging nearly 400 million views a month and with what I believe is an all time high of 615 million views in August. Now that's a nice little cherry on top for the month he hit 100 million. And of course the same month he got married. Now PewDiePie has implemented a lot of multiple streams of revenue from video games to merch. He's got his chair, which we all know is $3.99. Also his G Fuel sponsorship and more. Now I can't even take a stab at his earnings because really when it comes to PewDiePie, what the hell do I know? <laughs> totally random guess by Michael McCrenna. Well, if, if it comes from Michael McCrenna's mouth, it has to be truth. It's solid fact. It's written in the diary. It's written in the dictionary. It is written in the Bible. Oh God, that video has been viewed 20 million times. It's so embarrassing. Yeah. All right, finally the number one spot, we got Jeffree Star. Now Jeffree's changed the game and he uses YouTube more as like a means for his makeup empire. I mean, he probably doesn't even need the YouTube revenue. Now some websites, they go as far to estimate that his net worth is as much as $200 million. Now although Jeffrey's not as frequent of an uploader with an average of one video a week, which surges to nearly 10 million views, well Jeffree Star is sitting on almost 17 million subscribers and 2 billion views. But it's Jeffree Star Cosmetics, a brand established five years ago that allows Jeffree to afford all the lavish toys, the boys, and a house fit for a king. Now he's since picked up a new mega mansion which we've gone into more detail about over on our second channel. So I'll post a link to that down below. Now if you wanna see more of my The Rich Life, well you can find me over on Instagram. Uh, at the time of this recording, I'm at Azzy's Party. So you can see me there, you can see Kara there. And uh, well I wanna thank you guys all for an amazing 2019. And uh, I'll see you guys in 2020, just probably not tomorrow. Your boy McCrudden. Well, I got lots of stuff to do, but I'll be seeing you guys soon. Thanks so much.